Hello everybody, you're very welcome to this episode of Object Oriented Programming. In this episode we're going to look at a specific design pattern, in this case it's the singleton pattern. So uh, singleton states that a singleton pattern is one where when we create a class we can only instantiate it once, we can only have one object based on a particular class. So let's look in a bit of detail exactly what that looks like. The singleton pattern is as follows really. We have class singleton on top and then singleton on the bottom as normal with these patterns. We have a, a, a sentinel or a flag or a variable and, and I'm, I'm going to call it for the, the pattern is singleton has been instantiated. Is there an instance of the singleton already? And we'll assume not. And then we have a method. It's the new method. And we're going to check if the is singleton is still none. So if it's still none, that means there hasn't been an instance of this created. If, if that is the case, then we assign is singleton to a particular value. I'll talk about what the particular value is in a minute, but let's make sure we understand the logic of the start of the code first. We set a, a flag to be none, and then when we call, when we try and create an instance of this class by going new, then we check if that is still none. If it's still none, then that means no instance has been created already. So let's set that to something other than the word none. Because now it's something other than none, the next time we call this method new, we'll check if is singleton is equal to none, and it won't be. And because it won't be, it won't do anything else. So then it won't create the class, and then it'll just return. Now let's look at the bit on the right. So what we set is singleton to is we, we create an instance of this class by doing a, a call to super, and we create an instance and say, let's create a new version of singleton. So this is this assignment self dot is singleton is signed super, singleton self dot new self is just creating an instance of the class. So if we haven't got one already, if a singleton is none, create one. From then on, a singleton will have a value, so then we'll, we won't be able to create an instance from then on. Every time we call new, every time we say my singleton assigned singleton, from then on it's just going to return nothing because we've, um, we've, create, we've overridden the new in this case with checking if we've already created a class. So that's simple to the singleton pattern. In terms of an explanation, the three key things to remember are in Python, the new class helps ensure there's only one instance of a class in this case, because when the new is called, it normally creates a new instance, but we're overriding the new, so that we check if there's already an instance. If there is, we don't do anything, but if there isn't, we use super to create a new instance. Let's look at the Python code for that. It's exactly like the, 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 the pattern, really, in green. The pattern is in green. This is the Python code. Let's say our singleton is called only one, and instead of is singleton, we're going to call it underscore singleton just because we want to let the uh, other programmers know that this is not a variable that they should be messing with. So even if we create an instance of only one called Fred, Fred dot underscore singleton is a variable value that no other program should be touching. By putting an underscore in it, we warn other programmers not to use it. We'll recall that from before. So then our, our declaration is kind of the same. We're taking in arguments here, don't worry about it. But the important thing is uh, we're taking in a class. We're checking if the, cla the singleton class is, is, is not blank. If it's not blank, then we do exactly as we said before. We do a super of that class and, and overwrite the new. And then we return the singleton. So that's the code. So all that happens is if I were to create an instance of only one called O1, so O1 is assigned only one, and then a new instance of only one called O2, the program would allow me to do that. But if we check if O1 is equal to O2, it is the same thing. And if we ask the system where in memory is only one stored, in this case it's stored in hex location B71C008C. If we ask where in memory is O2 located, it's the same place, it's B71C008C. So that means they are the same object. Although you can create as many aliases to it or pointers to it, 
there's only ever going to be one object. If I change a value in O1, if I print that value out in O2, it will be changed in O2. So we can create as many instances as we like, but it's only one object. The clue is in the name, really. If it's called only one, then you're getting only one object from that class. So that's the singleton pattern. The key thing to remember is the new method normally generates a new instance of something. But in our case, what we're saying is don't generate a new instance if there's already one there. Instead, return back the instance we already have of it. So that's singleton. Thanks very much. We'll see you on the next episode.